What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And I believe it has been about four weeks since my last competition. And in this video, I want to talk to you about my competition goals, my bodybuilding goals, and my rebound goals. So basically what I'm going to do in terms of my shape, my physique, and my bodybuilding ambitions in the future, specifically next year in 2018 so first of all let's talk about the rebound for a lot of people it is difficult to actually stay in shape uh, after a show but especially when the holidays are in season they are right now we actually have not only um, Christmas and New Year's but also Sinterklaas which is a Dutch holiday and with that you have a lot of treats like pepernoten Die Die Pop, a mandelstaaf, chocoladeletter, those are all Dutch words, but you can see by the pictures they are not the most, you know, suitable food items for a bodybuilder. However, I did enjoy some of them, so what I'm doing right now is my diet consists of the high day that I had during the competition prep. So during my competition prep I was doing a carbohydrate cycle, so carb cycling, and I had low days and high days, and I usually did a high day and a low day alternating them, so that on the high day I maintained my fullness, but on the low days you actually burn the fat. So now I eliminate the low days, and I only have the high days, and I have medium days as well, so two high days one medium day and three times a week I'm doing fasted cardio for half an hour that is all I really need to stay in shape and in my opinion I'm never hungry I never really crave bad foods and I'm able to keep this pretty conditioned shape so that I can actually if I want to do a competition early next year be ready in no time at all and on my vintage genetics channel right here you can actually look up what I used to do for my rebound to actually gain some weight some quality weight some fullness in the muscles and actually stay quite conditioned while gaining a lot of kilograms a lot of pounds and I'm sorry I got a little bit of a cold have been having that for a two weeks or so so that's why the video content isn't as consistent because having to talk with a cold sometimes it is not nice to do anyway so for my rebound let me check the amount of calories because I like to print out my plan so I always have them with me so in terms of carbohydrates on the high day it's 460 grams of carbs 350 grams of protein and 114 grams of fats totaling about 4400 calories so with 4400 calories I kind of maintain my current shape and then there's a low slash medium day of carbohydrates and the only thing I change there is I lower the carbs by 150 but only have one of those days for every two days of high day so my diet really isn't that bad and I'm able to maintain this shape that you've been seeing in this previous video I just uploaded the back video working out and you can see that my shape is pretty you know decent um, and that way I'm able to maintain a shape of which I only need to cut for a maximum of six weeks to get ready for a show and that is something I want to do that is something I've always been wanting to do so what I'm going to do is work on my weak points such as my triceps back thickness and hamstrings if I work on those three and I have a couple of months to do so I will surely show you an entirely different package and I probably only need to gain one to two kilos okay one to two kilos to my frame and this brings me to the next topic the competitions that I'm going to do classic physique is something that I will be focusing on for sure right now on my last do my last competition I weighed hundred and ten kilograms I probably could lose another two kilograms to be as ripped as I could possibly lose some more water a little bit of fat so 108 kilograms is my absolute most ripped possible physique I could possibly have and the weight limits for me are about 111 
to 112 kilograms. So I can still gain about 3 to 4 kilograms if I come in really conditioned, if I come in perfectly and full. So I have quite a lot to play with still actually. And um, to me my upper body is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that I have um, a high chance of getting in a very good position in any classic physique show in the world. It's just the hamstrings and the back thickness need to improve so that when people do have those strong points and they stand next to me, they shouldn't overpower me too much. Because to me, bodybuilding is all about being in proportion. And if everything is right, if everything just clicks, if people look at you and they say, wow, that is a good physique, and they cannot immediately point out weak points, then you pretty much won the show. And that is my plan. So classic physique is what I'm going to do. I won't be doing any real bulking anymore. I will maintain the shape and slowly add muscle mass to my weak points. So again, the triceps, hamstrings, and back thickness. Maybe a little bit of quad sweep, but that will automatically come if I just keep training my legs. Because I will keep training everything. But the weak points I will train a little bit more often, a little bit more intense, different techniques. Which will of course show you on the channel. So if you have weak points of your own, if you have the same weak point as me, I'm sure you will learn a lot about the things that I will do. About the things I will implement in my plan, in my workouts, to actually alleviate myself of those weak points. So... Then which competition will I be doing? Well, I've been telling you guys this in my Instagram comments, but I really want to do, of course, the Mr. Olympia Classic Physique. That is ultimately the goal for any bodybuilder nowadays who is classic. The ultimate goal is the Mr. Olympia Classic Physique, because just look at the lineup of this year. Wow, the top five? Incredible. Anyone who is serious about bodybuilding, who is serious about trying to emulate the golden era of bodybuilding, wants to reach the top in their own classical class, then the Mr. Olympia is perfect. I never saw, um, I never really saw the appeal to doing the Mr. Olympia before Classic Physique, because I, I thought, well, maybe I can go up to 120 kilograms max. And I maxed out my physique while remaining classic, so a small waist, a nice V-shape, and uh, being able to do the vacuum. But if I go above that, which I would definitely need to do, probably about 20 kilograms above that, I would not stand any chance in the Mr. Olympia. But in order to achieve that, you have to do so many things that I simply don't want to do. I do this sport because I want to be healthy, I enjoy working out, and as, an, as a result of eating right and working out hard, because I like to do that, I am able to do competitions. Because that's the competitions are really just a sideshow for me. Because this is my lifestyle. I like to work out, I love it. I've done it for seven years before even knowing about competitions. I never even knew that someone of my caliber, which in my eyes was a very low level, I never knew I was able to do competitions. I always thought you got to be as big as Ronnie Coleman back then. So the first seven years, I really trained because I loved it. I loved the progression. I loved getting stronger. I loved the way I started to look, feel about myself, find things out about my body, nutrition, just very interesting stuff. And as a result of that, when you start to look better and better, hey, maybe competitions is something for you. If you land in the top five, if you land first, it all of a sudden starts to become very interesting. And that combination has really also brought to life vintage genetics, because I want to show you guys that even as a big bodybuilder, you can still be aesthetic, you can still look healthy, live healthy, eat the things you enjoy, work out, whatever you want, enjoy everything. And that's exactly what I'm doing. That to me is what it's all about. You gotta enjoy your own lifestyle. Otherwise you will not hang in there for long enough. A lot of people who used to compete with me four years ago, I never hear from them again. And to me that was my first year competing and I was only getting started and I've made consistent gains because again, my priority is workout and nutrition and the enjoyment I get out of it. So, that brings me to my last point about the Mr. Olympia. When am I going to do it? The initial plan was to do it in 2018. 
because the path to the Olympia, to me, no matter what I had to do, I would do it. And with the right coaching, with the right connections, with the right shows, you, I could make, certainly make it happen. But I'm not sure if that is the right, uh, you know, the right path for me right now. But I do want to do the Mr. Olympia, so if it's not next year, it'll be in 2019. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when I do it. Because when I do it, I will be at my absolute best. And I'm not sure if I will be at my absolute best next year. Bodybuilding is about patience. It's about consistency. And as I said, I don't want to grow as big as I can possibly grow. To me, it is about working on the weak points. And if I do my absolute best to work on them and they are not up to par to where I want to be, what's the use of doing the Mr. Olympia? Because I compete to win. So no matter who is in my way, I'm sorry. You will have to battle against the best Wesley there ever was. What you've seen up till now, it's nothing. Nada. No. Nothing. Compared to what it will bring. This is the first time ever that I'm staying in shape, that I'm staying full right after a show, that I'm maintaining my diet all the way through and being as consistent as I am now, as motivated as I am now. Because with the victory of my last competition, winning the overall against super heavyweights, people saying that they enjoy the classic physique more, the classical lines, the golden era, all the guest poses I've been doing, I mean, the motivation is sky high. So, I will just do my best to do um, the best shows I can possibly do to showcase my physique in the best possible way. But next year, in 2018, in I think the first four months, I will be doing at least one classic physique competition. And at the end of the year, I will do a competition for sure, which is still a surprise, but it will be a new Dutch contest for sure with a very nice posing opportunity to showcase a lot more than you see nowadays on the posing uh, stage. So, now one last thing before I end this video. There is a discount code on VintageGenetics.com called XMUS15, as you can see right here. If you use that code, you get 15% off of every single clothing item, including this one, and all the red colored items, such as the shirts and the Bordeaux hoodie, are automatically 5 euros off, and on top of that, you can stack the 15% off code. So if you are interested in vintage genetics clothing, do make sure to check it out, because now there's a discount because of the holidays. And also, there is a new site attached to Vintage Genetics called supplements.vintagegenetics.com. Those are the supplements I have taken for close to a year now for all of my competitions as you've been seeing. All the improvements I've made to my shape are partly thanks to those supplements. I've not used anything else supplement-wise apart from those and we'll be making separate videos about them because they are old-school supplements as stated on the website there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there and I know a lot of guys say that but I saw it firsthand how it is created formulated I know the creator the formulator so trust me when I tell you that is the case that is the case. But anyway, a lot more videos will be made about that. If you're interested or not, check it out. But anyway, guys, thank you for your support. I will actually be doing a Q&A as well. So if you have any questions at all, at all, I will answer them down below. At least I will pick out a few interesting ones and answer them in the next video, which will probably be posted either tomorrow or the day after. I will do my best to post more videos from now on, showing you a little... A little bit more about my lifestyle, about nutrition, and anything else you guys want to see. I've still got a lot of video ideas that I wrote down, so I will be doing all of those as well. So expect to see more of Wesley and of Kane, because he will be doing a lot of progression as well, in terms of his body, physique, and perhaps competitions. We will see. But guys, again, thank you for your support, and do not forget, don't forget to stay Golden.